Hey guys, it's Trish. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, as you can see, I am going shopping and I'm also having dinner with my family at Gordon Ramsay's Hell's Kitchen. And I'm super excited because we have been waiting for a long time to go there and this is our chance. And yeah, it's just a fun shopping day and dinner with my family. And let me show you guys my outfit. So for today's outfit, I have a Dior beret on and some Dior earrings and this is my new mini lady dior my uh top end skirt is from cody brook and then my shoes are from dior just got parking and now we're walking to the mall yay we're finally at the mall and this is the shops at crystals in las vegas nevada and we're shopping at dior and we are walking in so because of coronavirus, so I'm going to pause the video here a little bit to talk to you guys about some things. Um, the store and the mall, they had hand sanitizer all around the mall. So I really liked that to keep our hands clean and everyone clean. And in the boutique, they had a person walking around all the time cleaning the shelves. And it was really good. And right when we entered the Dior store, they had hand sanitizer for us. And once the store was kind of crowded, they would close the doors and wait until some people would leave. And then when they leave, more people can enter. So yeah, I really like that. And let's get on with the shopping vlog. Here is the hand sanitizer that I was talking about. It smells really, really good. And starting off with shoes, here is the new flower print in the sling bags, espadrilles, and the Dwayne Meal, which is the one I'm wearing right now. It is super cute and comfortable. I like it a lot and don't mind my feet. And looking at some other shoes, this is the gray oblique espadrilles. My sister has the navy one, and then this is the Dway wedge. And then some D-Connect sneakers for any of you D-Connect lovers different designs, different colors. And then these are the Dior Walk-In Dior sneakers, my favorite Dior shoes. They're so pretty. And then these ones you can personalize in the back of the sneaker. And some more D-Connect. And then here are some more Dway Mules. They are very uh, cute and comfortable. I really love the heel ones because I like to look uh, taller but the flat sandal ones are still very comfortable and very pretty. And then these are the new sandals and I have not tried them on yet but I kind of like it. Hopefully they will come out with a heel version. And then some sling bags. Oh, I love Trois de Gris, my favorite print ever. And then these ones are so pretty. Look at the Crystal Ja Dior. And then I would definitely recommend getting the sling bags with the fishnet because they are the most comfortable and the softest. And then this is the new Dior bucket hat in the beige oblique. And this one is reversible. So you can wear it both ways however you like it. And right now I'm trying on just the beige way, plain, no design. Still think it's very cute because on the inside it's oblique. And then here is the other side. And if you want to wear it on the oblique side, you would need to cut the tag or else the tag would be sticking out, which would be weird. And yeah, that is how it looks. It also comes in navy and reversible. And this is the Dior baseball hat in black. I have the same one in blue, which I actually have not worn out yet, but I still really love the hat. And this black one, it feels very fashionable. I love it a lot. And this is the new Medium Lady Dior in white embroidery. And oh, it's so pretty. It comes in black, gray, pink, and beige. And this is the new color, which is white. I've been eyeing this bag for so long. <laughs> And then some ready to wear. I really love this collection. Oh, honestly, I love a lot of the Dior's collection. And yeah, some more just ready to wear and shoes. And then these are some of the new handbags. The saddlebags, just walking around the whole store looking at everything. Saddlebag, belt bags, some fashion jewelry, chokers, bracelets, brooches. 
and earrings and also hair accessories right there the hair clips are so pretty so cute and i want to talk about this new tote bag which i will show you in a minute inside the store so a lot of you guys might think you what is this bag but i think it's actually very useful and very good for traveling or for the beach it has a lot of pockets great for holding a lot of water bottles for everyone if you're going somewhere with a lot of people in your family or friends it's good to hold a lot of items you know water bottles or actually you can use it as a garden bag for your garden tools so i think it's a very cute and pretty tote bag and then there's the catherine tote bag on the bottom and some fashion jewelry, bracelets, rings, and the tribals. And then some more earrings, the dangly ones, the crystals. I love the ones with Ja Dior wording on it. And then mini Lady Dior's. And this is the satin with the crystal charm. So cute. And also the same for the saddlebag. And satin, black, and beige. And this is one of their new oblique ones. And this is the Micro Canage 30 Montaigne with the chain and then some regular 30 Montaigne in matte. And of course, I had to try one on. I do not own a 30 Montaigne yet, but I am really loving it. At first, I thought it was very heavy, but once I tried it on my shoulder, it's super, super light. And I just think it's so adorable and really trendy. This is the 30 Montaigne Ultra Matte and this is in blush green calfskin and the green one is just calfskin super pretty i'm so obsessed with 30 montaigne even though i don't own one yet and this is my abc which is the size small in green it's the same shade as the other 30 montaigne and then my essay put the strap on for this other my abc it's like a dusty jade green shade it's so cute it's so pretty you guys I'm really digging the green shade lately. And I love the My ABC because you can uh, put charms on the strap, so any word you want. And this is the new men's wallet. This is in collaboration with Stussy. It's super popular. This whole collection is amazing. Um, there's like oblique sweater, knit sweaters, and collar t shirts, all very nice. And then there's sneaker charms and this is a brooch i love the bee and yeah that's my shopping to the or thank you to my essay nadia and make sure to shop at the shops at crystals in las vegas nevada and yeah that's it for today's shopping and then like i said earlier in the vlog we're eating at gordon ramsay's hell's kitchen and i'm so excited because we've been waiting forever to eat here this is the view on the inside <laughs> There's my sister. I'm going to stop the video again and just to tell you guys some things about the restaurant. So because of like the new rule, because of the coronavirus, max on a table is five people. But my family consists of six, so we had to split in half. Three, three. One table was my sister, dad, and me. And the other one was my grandpa, grandma, and aunt. And it was still very nice because our table was right next to each other. And I liked how all the workers wore face masks and they used thongs to pass like your napkins or anything. It was very sanitary. I loved it a lot. And oh, the food was amazing. And the view was amazing too. Yeah, I was very excited to try Hell's Kitchen. We were all super hungry and it was very fun, a great experience. And I think we will definitely go again, but it's very hard to make reservations. You would have to make reservations like weeks ahead or months ahead. But because not many people are going out lately, we were able to get reservations. So that was great. And yeah, that is just a little something to say. Uh, yeah, definitely recommending trying this place. Make sure to reserve ahead if you're visiting Las Vegas. And yeah, now let's just show the food. We all chose the prefix courses and it's either pan sear scallop or Caesar salad for appetizer and I chose Caesar salad. I think it did need a little bit more sauce. It was still really good though. And then it was beef wellington. I would definitely recommend sharing with like two people. It was way too big. And I also got corn, roasted corn. And for dessert, we got 
sticky toffee pudding, which is really good, but it was still so big. So yeah, I would definitely recommend sharing. And that was the end of today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I will post an unboxing video soon of my latest purchases. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Tristan and use my hashtag CDORaholics to share any of your posts with me, your latest purchases or anything you want to share. Just tag and use my hashtag and I will see you guys next time. Bye!